this is Jeremy with the Practical IT Channel, and today I'm bringing you a video that has been often asked for, and that is setting up and joining a Windows 10 machine to a Zential domain. Uh, and as you may know, Zential is running Samba 4, so it is acting as the full primary domain controller and giving you Windows Server type capabilities. So what I wanna show you first and what you see on your screen is VirtualBox. And as you can see down here, I've got three virtual machines running. The first is PFSense. So what we've got here is two network adapters, one set up as a bridged adapter, which allows access to the internet. The second is an internal adapter. And I've given that internal network the name Zen. The next machine that's up and running has one network adapter, internal, also on that Zen network. The Windows machine, virtual machine, is on the internal Zen network. So let me minimize VirtualBox. And so basically I'm running a pretty bog standard out of the box install of PFSense. I've run updates, I've done minimal configuration and just kind of left it alone. So from there I installed Zential and um, I'm actually connected to the PFSense through the Zential VM. Uh, this is just Firefox here. So Zential has again the single network adapter and it is running all the required services with the exception of DHCP. I am still letting the PFSense box handle DHCP settings. And I have in fact made this work with joining the Windows 10 machine to the domain. Under network, network and gateways, it shows the gateway as being the 192.168.1.1, which is the PFSense box. So that's all good. Moving to, take a look at domain first. So what we've got set here, server role is domain controller, NetBIOS domain name is Zential-Domain. This was set up during install. NetBIOS computer name Zential Server with a space with capitalization. I have not yet enabled roaming profiles and that's that's that. Under DNS in this section the forwarder is set to quad 9 and the domain is down here zential hyphen domain dot lan dhcp again is off i haven't changed firewall settings certification authority or ftp settings we'll take a look briefly at users and computers go to manage all right so under computers we have the MS Edge Win 10. This is the initial successful attempt to join the Windows 10 VM to the domain. Now I have added a security group called DevOps. I added a user called Dom Admin and assigned it a password. That is a part of the group Domain Admins. Also, administrator I assigned a password to and I added the Joe Sixpack account assigned a password and put Joe Sixpack in the DevOps group the 
host name for the domain controller is Zential. All right, so now we can move over to our Windows 10 VM. Okay, so this is one of the pre-built virtual machine images from Microsoft to enable you to test websites and other things with Windows 10 and Microsoft Edge. Few changes that I've made to this machine. So we'll take a look at settings, system, network, well, let's just go to, come on, um, go to control panel. Okay, so I have renamed it to MS Test VM. The host name was originally the IE test whatever Microsoft set it to out of the box or out off the uh, ISO. So I've reset the device name. All right, that's all in good. And so let's go back here. And jump to control panel and we'll need system here in a moment so right now we are in a default work group um, one thing I do want to show is the adapter settings get to properties IP version 4, I did disable IP version 6. I set the preferred DNS server to the Zential server, 192.168.1.102. I left the IP address set to DHCP. Okay. At this point, we can jump back over here, go to change settings. We want to do change. We want to join a domain and our domain is called Zential Domain. Click OK. And it's going to prompt you for the name of an account with administrator permission to join machines to the domain. Administrator and the password that I've previously set. And with a little luck, this will work the way it did before and will be prompted to reboot here shortly. Welcome to the Zential Domain domain. Okay, must restart your computer to apply these changes. Okay, close, restart now. And we'll be back in just a moment. And we're back. We will go ahead and log into our machine. It still comes up with the IE user, that's the local user for the virtual machine. We want to go to other user and it says sign into Zential Domain. Administrator and look what happens there. So since there's an administrator account on that virtual machine, it defaults to MS Test VM, which was the default name of the machine but if we 
specify administrator at essential domain and then specify the password for the administrator of the domain. It will let us log in without any issues. It takes a little longer since I'm running three VMs on my Mac and I'm trying to record this at the same time. So it does give us the proper um, host name, username, this password is not correct. That's the default password for the user that Microsoft added to the virtual machine. So this is all in good, but let's, let's just do a switch user and we're going to say other user and we're going to say J six pack, which is the Joe six pack user on the domain. And so obviously that's going to go through and get us to a screen. So jumping back over to our essential server, if we reload this page, it still shows the MS Edge Win 10, which was the original host name. Now, due to having the same MAC address, I'm assuming that did not automatically update. It may update when I restart Zenchel, but Regardless, that is not a big deal. What is interesting is that we've got our Joe Sixpack user and our administrator that we've been able to log into the Windows machine over here. So let's minimize that again. So we now have Joe Sixpack logged in and the administrator signed in and we can switch one more time because there is another user and I call that one Dom admin and I believe that's the password I set for him so there's three users that only exist in the Zential domain that have successfully been able to log into Windows 10, not using local users, but using those domain users. That's the basics on how you would do the join. I will caution you, however, if there are too many variations between your actual network that you're trying to set up to use for a Zential domain and what I set up in this example network, it may fail for you. I do not claim to be an expert on all things Zential. If you are going to use Zential in a production environment, I would highly recommend reaching out and finding out what your cost would be to use the commercial version and have the support package. I hope this answers questions. This has been a video that people have asked for on multiple occasions. If there is something that I did not address in this video that you would like to see, please leave comments below. And while you're doing that, I'd really appreciate if you take a moment, like the video and subscribe and click that bell icon for notifications. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing off for the Practical IT channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.